Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I will guide you through the process of creating a new disk partition on both Windows 10 and Windows 11, applicable to both hard drives and SSDs. Often when you initially buy a new Windows computer or laptop, there might be probably only one disk available. Also when you install Windows on your PC or laptop, you can create only one partition, typically labeled as local disk C, where your operating system and all your data resides. However, relying solely on this single partition poses risk. If your operating system becomes corrupted, you risk losing all your data. Therefore, it is necessary to create a separate disk partition to safeguard your data. This partition will serve as a backup, ensuring that even if your Windows installation encounters issues, your data remains safe and recoverable. Thankfully, the process is straightforward. So let's get started. Currently, I have 243 GB of free space available in my single drive partition and I want to create a new partition. Before we begin, I want to recommend that you should have at least 20 to 25% free disk space on your C drive where your operating system has been installed. If you have a lot of files or programs, you may need more disk space. This is essential thing to keep in mind for getting sufficient regular updates, creating backups and the installation of new programs or games you want to use later. So what I will do, I will keep at least 100 GB more free space in the C drive and with the rest of the storage you can create a new partition. So right now I will create a partition of 125 GB of a space. So what you will have to do, make a right click on the windows icon. Then from the suggestion you have to click on disk management. In disk management, you will find an overview of your partitions and disk, including disk zero partition, reserved space for system like healthy EFI and recovery partition, alongside the large C drive partition. So we need to leave the system reserved for healthy EFI and recovery partition. Just look for the bigger drive. You just have to select the C drive. We will confirm that same information we will be seeing here in C drive of this PC as well. As indicated by a 475 GB partition on both windows. To proceed, right click on the C drive and select shrink volume. This tool will calculate the available space indicating the amount free for partitioning. To allocate 125 GB for the new partition, convert GB to MB means 1 GB equate to 1024 MB resulting in 128,000 MB which you will enter as a partition size. Then you have to click on shrink now depending on you are using SSD or hard drive it may take some time. Repeat this process for any additional partitions adjusting the size accordingly. Once it will be done you will find an unallocated space of 125 GB that which we just shrinked. To create the new partition simply right click on the unallocated space Select new simple volume and proceed through the volume wizard by clicking next. Again click on next and here assign a letter to the new partition such as D, E or any and then click next. Without making further changes, you can give this new partition a name labeled as new volume. Finally click finish to complete the process. You will now see the partition labeled as new volume D containing approximately 125 GB of available space. Closing the disk management window and here it shows the new partition alongside the C drive, offering a separate space for backing up and storing my crucial data here. This method effectively creates new disk space as proved by the reduced free space in the C drive. With this new partition creation, you can easily manage and store your data, enhancing the organization and efficiency of your Windows 10 or Windows 11 system. If you found this tutorial helpful, please hit the like and subscribe button for more content. See you soon in the next video.